joining us. This, this is the official Fight Week press conference ahead of an absolute cracker this Saturday night live on BT Sport. It's unbeaten versus unbeaten. It's British champion versus Commonwealth champion. It's Queensbury versus Matchroom. Denzel Bentley against Felix Cash is a fight that's got the boxing world talking. And with me today I have Denzel Bentley, British champion, over there on the right. I have Felix Cash, Commonwealth champion. And of course I've got the magic man, Frank Warren, who's made it all happen. We'll hear from everyone very shortly, but first I've got to tell you about the undercard, because it's a cracker. Callum Johnson, two years in the light heavyweight wilderness. We saw what he did against Arthur Viterbiev in those pulsating four rounds. Nearly had him out of there. Hasn't been able to kick on. Saturday night, he makes his Queensbury debut against Croatia's Emil Markic. Also in action, David Adelaide, young heavyweight coming through. He seems to be knocking everyone out and then calling everyone out afterwards. So he'll be a lot of fun. He's becoming must-watch television. George Davy returns. He's Henry Walton's young super welterweight protege. He's dropping down to welterweight. It's got an interesting fight. And I'll tell you why. He's fighting Jamie Stewart, who's only fought a handful of fights. But amongst those fights, he's got a win over Michael Hennessy Jr., son of the promoter, and also a draw with Albanian welterweight Florian Marku, which you might have seen. So that would be one to, to keep an eye on. Henry Turner, seven-time national amateur champion. He's in action on Saturday. Big John Fury is a big fan of Henry. You know, he doesn't like everyone, John Fury, but he likes Henry Turner. So tune in and watch him. Also in action, Carol Atoma, his second professional fight, Olympic youth gold medalist. He's in action. And Merseyside middleweight James Hennigan makes his Queensbury debut. That's enough about the undercard. Let's talk about Saturday. Frank, I'm going to come to you first. From your perspective, how did this fight come about? It came about because the boxer board of control all of it. And uh, neither party wants to withdraw from it. I know Denzel certainly didn't. And obviously, it's the same for Felix. Um, it went out to purse bids and we won the purse bids for it. So it's on. And it's, uh, you know, I don't think it gets any better than this. You know, both the guys are undefeated. They've both got uh, similar type of records. Um, I think that you're going to see something a little bit special. I understand, and they know better than I do, that there's uh, no love lost from um, previous sparring. And there's their sparring also out the ring, I think, um, unofficial sparring. So, um, you know, this, is, this has got the hallmarks of a real classic fight, you know, in, in, in a division that Britain's always been, you know, been flown the flag. And you can go back over the years and look at some of the great British Commonwealth middleweight title fights. Mm -hmm. And this, this definitely has a, a great chance of being up there with, with, uh, as far as uh, quality and more importantly as far as action is concerned. So I, I as a boxing fan, am really looking forward to it. Purse bids get called all the time for different fights. You get various promoters being told you, you know, the purse bids at this time. They don't always happen. Are you surprised that this fight, after you've won the purse bid, is actually taking place? Well, there's a lot of talk. I think uh, Tony, Tony Sims, uh, Felix Sims' uh, trainer, I think, said at one stage that he was considering, you know, not, not taking the fight and moving on. But, you know, hats off to them. They've, they've we won the first business and hats off to them there. They want the fight and they're going with the fight. So I think from, uh, from the fans' point of view, it doesn't get any better than that. They're in there and uh, come Saturday night, we're going to see something a little bit special. Well, Felix, welcome. I've got to ask you first. There are options on the table. We heard that perhaps you could fight for a European title. A lovely belt to get, nice ranking. And you said no. You said, I want to fight for the British title. I want to fight Denzel Bentley. Why? Um, it's, the British, it's the British title, isn't it? Um, you know, every, every British fighter wants to win it. And um, that's what I want to do. And um, Denzel, Denzel's in my way, so let's, let's get it on. You know, I'm looking forward to this fight. Um, and I can't wait, to, can't wait to get my hands on that, but it's bad. Was it you that was really pushing this through as well? Because the stories have been that your team were trying to take you another route, that you were adamant that this was the fight that you wanted. It wasn't that my um, team was trying to push me another route. Um, you know, there was options on the table. And um, we, we sat down and we spoke as a team. We had a look at Denzel. And, you know, I'm, 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 I'm full of confidence I'm going to beat him on Saturday night. So we chose the British title. We sat down and we had a chat about it. We said, let's go for it. 
and that you know, we're all glad that you have. Was there any sort of disappointment at all that it, it isn't on your, your promoter show, or is it just a ring's a ring and you, you don't care? Listen, a ring's a ring, I don't care. Obviously, I prefer obviously, it was on a match on show, but it doesn't make a difference to me. It's a ring's a ring at the end of the day, and um, two men are going to get in the ring, and um, the best man will win on the night. Denzel Bentley, British champion, a proud British champion. I've seen you with that belt in Ghana, in London, Paris, Berlin, probably, <laughs> probably in Tesco as well. How, how proud are you to call yourself the British middleweight champion? I'm very proud. I just said it. I've, you know, I've been everywhere with the belt. You know, showing it off, letting everyone know my achievements and stuff. So I'm proud. He's taken this fight. He's gone the British title route. Is Felix Cash going to regret that? Yeah, I think he will. You know, sat there down the corner, so we ain't got to wait too long, but I think you will. Felix, you said that if you're going to get to where you're going to get to in the boxing world, you need to be getting past the Denzel Bentleys of this world. What did you mean by that? Well, I mean, I, I, I believe I'm more, I'm more level, and um, I don't believe Denzel is. Do you rate him at all? Yeah, he's a decent fighter. He's a decent domestic fighter, but I believe I'm a level above him, and I'll show him on Saturday night. Is Felix world level, Denzel? Uh, uh, if that's what you believe, that's what you believe, you know, I'm going to find out Saturday, but uh, go through his opponents and who he's fought, there's no one there that suggests that he did world level, but, you know, every fighter needs to believe that, yeah, at some level, I believe I'm world level, and he believes I'm not, so it's one of those things, isn't it? I want to take you back to the spa, the infamous spa that everyone's asking you about, and you know, I don't think you've been asked it in each other's presence yet. So yeah. what I want to do is, Denzel, I want to ask you what happened. And Felix, if he's lying, or if he's saying anything that you don't agree with, feel free to chime in. Denzel, what happened in that spot? Like I said, you know, we both done four rounds before that, jump back in with each other. Um, then what happened? Huh? Then what happened? Then what happened? Yeah, what happened? Then we sparred, then, you know, we're going at it. You start getting dirty, hitting low behind the head, you know, all the little dirty tricks you like to do. Well, you want you to hold then, 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 then it got heated. Then it got heated. Then it got heated. Yeah, you got upset because I pinged on your back. Why were you holding though? I like to know why you're holding. Why were you holding? Why were you holding? I put my arm over your head. Why were you holding? I put my arm over your head. You're not on my face. Yeah, why were you holding for? Because I put my arm over your head. You're holding your head. And then you got heated. Yeah. And you know, we're trying to look back, but... Anyway, this is in the past, it's in the past. It's exactly. it's in the past. It is what it is. You said, you said before you were clinging on for dear life. What's it was you said I You don't need to go back and forth about clinging on for dear life three years ago. You know what happened. Like I said, I know what happened. You know what happened. It was funny. It was funny. It was funny. His story was funny. I had a lot of a lot. He's done around in that half. I was holding on for dear life, blah, blah, all that stuff. And then I was holding on so he got angry and had a fight with me. It doesn't make sense. But that's cool. Saturday on the corner. Saturday on the corner. That's why this is so exactly. beautiful, that's why it's good. The Saturday night corner. Well, it's not long now, is it? It's not long. We'll see. Bit of animosity, Frank? No, we're good. Oh. Bit of animosity, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think they, I think they might be uh, secretly best friends, but we don't know. <laughs> one thing for sure, on Saturday, they both could be in the ring, and the best man is going to win. And that's really what it's all about. And the one who's got the skills, and the one who wants it the most, will come for it. And, uh, you know, everyone's got an opinion about the fight. I've obviously got my opinion about the fight because obviously we got behind our man to win the first bit because we believe in it. So, we will see on Saturday. Denzel, what do you do better than Felix Cash? Everything. We're talking hand speed, power, movement? Everything. Well, Felix, you're not the one that turned up then. He's got you covered. Power myself. <laughs> what do you do this better, Denzel? Listen, listen, the different styles, styles make fight, listen, at the end of the day, I believe I'm a better fight than them, and I'll prove it on Saturday night. We'll get in there man to man, and the best man will win on the night, I believe that's going to be me. So listen, he's done, he's done a good thing taking the battle around tour, and he's enjoyed it, because it's, it's going off his hands on Saturday night. You're going to turn up and do little dirty tricks on Saturday as well? Just don't keep holding. You're going to turn up the dirty tricks? Man, we'll see you on the night, mate. You just, you just don't, you don't mind, mate. On the night, I'll be in front of you, mate. You're going to have to deal with everything you're going to give them. That's what I want, right? Make sure you have to deal with it. Okay, cool. Who takes centre of the ring? <coughs> Who takes centre of the ring? Who takes centre of the ring? Who takes centre of the ring? You said before, Denzel, that you, and you've just kind of alluded to it there about dirty tricks. You said to me before you think Felix is a dirty fighter. Tell us more about that. 
It is, isn't it? You see it in his fights, everyone there has seen him fight before. He, he does it, he does it well, you know, he, he gets away with it a lot, but it's not gonna bother me because I know that already, so it's cool. You dirty fighter, Felix? Listen, I am what I am, you know what I mean, at the end of the day, I'm a very good fighter, and I'm going to show what Denzel on Saturday night. But what would be in line for the winner here, Frank? Obviously Felix will take his titles and go back, but if you've got, if you've got Denzel again, if he wins this fight, what's well, next? You know, if he comes through this, as we, we, we expect him to, he comes through this, then we're going to move on and move on. That's, that's what we're going to do, we keep pushing him on and getting him in a position where he gets a world title fight down the road. I'm not sure that's the case if uh, Felix comes through, but all I focus on is the guy who's with us and, the, and being with us. And when I, when I sort of look at Felix, sorry, look at Felix or how he's come through, it wasn't the easy way. I mean, everything for him's been tough. You know, he was, I mean, on the, the day he came in and jumps on, uh, we had the, a dinner show, a televised dinner show, and we lost the main event, and he'd just finished 10 rounds sparring. 10 rounds sparring, took the fight and then went eight rounds. And that tells you, that tells me a lot about him. That tells you a guy who, you know, believes in himself. It weren't like, you know, I've like just done 10 rounds sparring, I don't know. He actually got in the ring and won the fight. And each fight he's had, he's learned from him. He's looked better and better each time around. And I think, I think he's a credit to himself, where he's come from. He's a credit to Martin, not Martin. Martin's done with and uh, you know, if good guys win, it'll come through this on Saturday. How do you see this fight playing out, Felix? What happens when that bell rings? The bell rings, we're both going to have a fight, aren't we? And that's what's going to happen. <laughs> and I win the fight, uh, um, I'll, I'll get Dan's out of that, I believe. Knockout? Stop it, yeah. What do you reckon, Denzel? Yeah, I don't want to stop him. Have you seen chinks in the arm? Obviously the spa was a long time ago. I know, I know you're not going to take anything from that, but you must have watched his career. You called on this fight for a little while. What have you seen in Felix? Yeah. Even if he doesn't have chinks in his arm, I'm still going to stop him. Okay. Anything finally you want to say to uh, Denzel before Saturday night? No, really. Just that's, that's, that's put a good fight down to the fans. And that's that. Denzel, any final words from yourself? It's kind of upset, though. No, it's not fun. <laughs> Frank, why should people tune in on Saturday night for this one? Because I think you're going to see something special in, a, in you know, Britain's marquee division. You're going to see something special with two really good, talented fighters. And you know, a lot of competition between them, competition between their promoters. The whole thing smacks of the lecturers of, it, of, of a, a massive battle. And I think that's what we're going to get. It's going to be, it's going to be exciting, no doubt about it. And I think, you know, both of them have said the same thing. And I think it will be exciting whilst it lasts. Absolutely. Denzel, I'm just, I'm just catching your, your eye. I, I want to get out of your way because you two are locking eyes. What do you see when you're looking at Felix Cat right now? See another man that's going to fight. That's cool. You, you, you haven't really been around much, uh, around each other much since that spot. But you're looking at Denzel now. He's a different fighter. He's a British champion. What are you seeing? It's not a fight, it's not a fight, I'm not a fellow in my way, I've got to get him out of my way, you know. So, um, listen, I've got nothing not against Denzel, you know, he's come out to do a job, I've come out to do a job. And, um, and the best man will win on Saturday night, and that would be me. They're fighting men, that's what they do for a living, they're fighters, fighting men, and they're in the biggest fight of their career up to yet on Saturday. So, best man will win. Best man will win Saturday night, live on BT Sport from 7.30. British champion against Commonwealth champion, unbeaten versus unbeaten, Queensbury versus Matchroom, everyone's talking about it, make sure you tune in.